Hi guys, it's Olivia, and today I'm going to show you all my favorite art supplies and art brands. So here are all my favorite art supplies that are also affordable and really fun to use. So while I'm showing you each art supply, I'm also going to be making an illustration showing off how these art supplies work. I will also show you the prices and where you can get them and where I got them from. So the first product I'm going to be showing you is the Kansas Mixed Media Paper. So I really love mixed media paper in general because it can hold a variety of art supplies just in one illustration. You can use watercolors, markers, pencils, all a whole bunch of things on the same illustration and it's just really, really convenient. I love the Canson one. Um, it's the one I've been using for a while. It really holds all of the art supplies really well and I just love it. So the paper is really nice and thick and just can hold a lot. So this size I got is 7 by 10. I think this is a really good sketchbook size just to make quick illustrations. I also got a bigger size which is good for like really big illustrations. And it also has 60 pages which I think is a very good amount uh, for drawing. So that's what I'm going to be doing my art on today and I hope you check it out. So next up we have a pencil and eraser which is pretty generic. But I want to show you the specific ones. So I have a 2B pencil. I really love sketching with this because they're just nice and soft and easy to sketch with. And then I also have a kneaded eraser, which I love because it's easy just to get pick up graphite before you want to do your line art or just to lighten up an area while you're trying to sketch. So this is what I'm going to be using to sketch today. So my third favorite product is the Marabou Fineliner Graphics four piece fine liner set. Now this set contains a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and brush pen. I really love um, the brush pens. They do not run out fast. Uh, they have really, really deep black color, and they're really firm and nice, and I really, really like them. I mean, they're kind of just basic fine liners, but they really work well, and they are also water resistant, so they do not bleed when you use them with watercolor. I've had many, um, fine liners that fray over time and bleed with watercolor but these don't and I just really enjoy using them in my illustrations. So here I'm using my fine liners to outline an illustration. As you can see they go down really smoothly and they just make the illustration look really good. So my third favorite product is the Kelly Creates Brush Pen 3 set. So this set costs ten dollars, but I think it's a really good price for the amazing product you're getting. Um, I really like these brush pens because unlike most, they're very firm. They're not as flimsy as other brush pens, and they're really easy to control. As you can see, is it's like not really a brush nib; it's more of like a plastic nib. So it's still flexible, but it's really firm and easy to control. This set comes with three brush pens, a fine, medium, and large. When I got the set, there was a mistake, and I actually ended up getting two fine and one medium, so I did not end up getting the large, but I'm sure if I got it, I would love it too. So for the piece, I'm just using these brush pens to outline the planets and stars around her. So my fifth favorite product is Ahuhu Markers. Now, if you saw my previous video where I tested out the skin tone set, you'll see that I really, really love these markers. Now, I had the 72 brush set and the uh, 24 skin tone set, and I think they just have a variety of colors, light colors, dark colors, mid-tones, and I just love them a lot. The brush is super, super flexible, but not too flexible, and yes, over time, it does fray a little bit, but they do have reversible nibs, so if one part of your brush, brush frays, you can just flip it over and use that side. So both sides of the nib are brushes, which I think is really cool. And it blends super, super well. Now here I'm showing you a little bit of the blending. Yes, these two colors are pretty similar, but it can blend with a whole range of colors, so that's why I really like them. So here I'm just coloring um, the face and the, like, the skin of my character uh, with the... A salmon pink marker from the skin tone set and shading it with the salmon color from the skin tone set. And for the bl blush, I'm using the black brown color. 
So as you can see in this piece, the colors are really, really nice and vibrant. They blend really, really well, and they just overall make the drawing look really, really nice and smooth. So my sixth favorite product is the Pentel Water Brush. Now the one on the right is the water brush, and the one on the left is from a different set, but I just love water brushes in general because they're super, super convenient. The water just stays in the pen, and you have to keep refilling and getting new water. So my seventh product is the Master's Touch 18 watercolor set. Now, I got these from Hobby Lobby since Master's Touch is a Hobby Lobby brand, and they typically sell really cheap but good quality art supplies. So I really love these watercolors. They have a bunch of colors. They're really, really smooth and not chalky, which is really, really important because I really don't like those cheap, chalky watercolors. They have really vibrant colors, and they're just really great. So I'm using the watercolor to do a galaxy in her hair. So now that I'm done talking about my favorite art supplies, I will tell you about the illustration. So I found the idea for this illustration on Google by looking up Drawing Inspiration, and I really like the concept. I did rush this drawing a little bit, um, so I would love to redo it in the future and improve upon it because I don't think I um, did it as well as I could have, but I would definitely like to retry this concept. So a few things. Number one. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I made a new intro. I also made a new logo, and as you'll see at the end of the video, I made a new outro. I thought that was pretty exciting and just wanted you guys to know. So as you saw in my last video, I put up a poll asking you guys what YouTube series you'd like me to do. Now, not many people answered, so I'm going to put it up again in this video. I would love to start a new series on YouTube, so please uh, answer the poll uh, with what you would like to see. So now I'm putting stars in her hair using white acrylic paint. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun showing you all my favorite art supplies. Comment down below if you've tried any of them and what you think. Uh, also comment down below if you want a part two of me showing you some more of my favorite art supplies. I also hope you like my drawing. I'll link every single art supply I showed you in this video down below so you can get it yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!